What's up guys, welcome back to Painful DIY. I'm Get Pain and you are watching Building a Jamaican Home Series. So today we now do no construction work today, we are do some chef work today, so we turn chef pain. So what we are gonna do today is we are gonna make some pumpkin juice and so you know the all of the health benefits that will come with the pumpkin juice. We're gonna talk about those health benefits. We are cook some rice and peas and we are cook some curry goat. So we like the stove already, we season up the curry goat from a long time. We are great at some coconut and we have a pizza soak. So we are put on the curry goat now and join us and see where I go on. Okay, so we are kick it off here now, season up the meat from early this morning to make the seasoning go and soak in it. We are going to separate the meat now from the seasoning so when time we are throw it in the pot, I don't have to pick it out and I take too long to throw it in the pot. Throw it in my oil now and make it go and get hot. So we are going to fry a piece of garlic in the oil you now along with a piece of onion and a piece of scallion to give the oil some flavor, some sweet, sweet flavor. In the meantime guys, if you're new to the channel, please to like and subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you can get the next update. Yeah, the coconut is well dry and the water is sweet, but most of the water waste the bomb it. I never remember to carry a cup. Taste piece of the coconut to see the amount of oil I'm going to get out of it just in case I'm going to need butter but it tastes nice and dry so I know a whole lot of oil I'm going to get out of it. You know I want to get them too black to make the oil smell burnt so I just make them brown and take them out of the pot and then I'm going to burn my curry. Some people mix it in the water and then throw it in the pot but I'm going to just throw it straight into the oil and store it for a while. Here peeps and while my curry are burning now, I just go and start out the coconut. After I'm done burning my curry, I just throw in my mutton now and I just stir it until every piece of the mutton gets coated by the curry. Cover it up, leave it for a while, before making go and cook down before I put no water in it. Come back in a few minutes, tip in a little water in it, stir it up, cover it up again and make it go and simmer. Some people use warm water to tip in it. They say it make the meat more tenderized, but it doesn't really matter to me because it's got nice just the same. Not no nice like when you cook outside on a cold stove. In the meantime, while that I go and see my down, I just touch on the pumpkin punch you now. So here we have a nice little sexy pumpkin we buy from pumpkin lady downtown. Big up yourself my pumpkin lady. We are gonna peel and dice up the pumpkin. We only are gonna use about quarter or a little piece extra because we don't want to make too much juice because I've never made this juice before. It seems easy to make, but we don't want to spoil it because I always overdo things. So we just make a small portion and test it out first and then the next time we just make the rest of the pumpkin. Yeah, but before we go into the slicing and dicing, let me just show you my ingredients. So right now we have rose water and almond we're putting on everything. We have a supple gin, we have a dragon, we have a secret formula, which is Krishy favorite, so we can't leave out that uh, rum cream. We have a nutmeg, Raquel give me a bag of nutmeg right there. Bless up yourself Raquel. And we have a Betty condensed milk, not no sweet like Betty condensed milk. We 
pumpkin is highly nutritious and loaded with vitamins is good for the eyesight pumpkin is good for the heart pumpkin is good for the skin drink pumpkin the right way is also lower your blood sugar a lot and lot of benefits that come with pumpkin and we can't get over all of them in this one video so i'm just going to leave them on the screen right here and you just can pause the video and just read along the concrete jungle, no breeze no blow, and no river no flow. When you buy one loaf of bread, we buy part a loaf. Got the money no flow. Feel your one sweet, but feel it one bitter. Feel me little bit, but feel you much bigger. We push and cat and them a drive them a over just this slow, but feel them much quicker. While the poor man a lose, the richer get richer. This ain't no joke. Right, the pot a go and simmer. Coconut, so go on. Second, I'm put on a piece pan stove and put on a pumpkin pan stove. And a river now flow. When you buy one loaf of bread, we buy part a loaf. Got the money now flow. Okay, so you have to make the pumpkin now cook and then you take it off of the fire and put it down for cool. I just put the pot in the fridge and make it go and cool. You want to be constantly stirring the mutton because the top might be juicy and nice but then the bottom might be sticky and burning and of course me have to have my Irish potatoes to make the gravy nice and creamy Yeah, so after some time now I know so it's soon finished just throw in the rest of my seasoning and make that go and simmer some more yeah so some people use sugar in them curry but me I gonna use my bell core guava preserve but me get from Mrs. Lums then herself check them out in store guys the nice no Want to crush it dance like squirrels in our pants, give her some bell core guava jam. Yes, beef, my peas done boil now. I boil it down with some garlic so the peas soften faster. Stop the thing.
And as me always say, you have to learn to follow your unconscious mind. Your mind already calculates the water to rice ratio. So all you have to do is just follow it, trust it, and go ahead and just pour in the amount. And if not, you just make the water uh, less than an inch above the rice when you pour it in the pot. Oh, what you say? Oh, no, ma'am, no, I'm still there. Just uh, admire how I look like a big chef, you see it. You know we have to taste the pot, especially when we're cooking rice. Because not all the rice grains are going to cook at the same time. we need to do is to put a plastic over the rice to trap all the steam and let it circulate through every single grain of rice. Some people use file paper but nothing traps steam like a plastic bag. So we're going to blend together all the ingredients now for the pumpkin punch. Now we're going to use a Nutri Plus cream now as a base. It's not only delicious but it's full of nutrients. too much condensed milk or the rest of the ingredients is mostly sweetened and then blend everything together and this is the finished product served on my beautiful coral dish Thank you guys for watching if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to click that subscribe button before you leave click that like button and leave a comment thank you so much for your support and we'll see you in the next video